Okay, some properties require what's called open area or gravel driveway weed control. What we're going to do is we're going to spray this driveway uh, for any weeds. Uh, we're going to start along the edges of the driveway and we're going to get this perimeter right here along the edge. The wind's coming from our left, it's coming from this direction. So we got to be careful for the drift going over too far into the grass. So we keep the wand close to the ground. And when we come back, we're going to spray along the edge here. Uh, stopping the grass from encroaching onto the driveway. We're also going to spot treat for any weeds that are coming up. Okay, here we go. Okay, before we start spraying, first thing we're going to do is we're going to shake our backpack and stir up the chemicals inside. And we'll start pumping. Okay, be sure not to over pump. When it starts getting firm, you can stop. Okay, we're gonna walk along the driveway, keeping the wand close to the ground. Okay, we made our first pass. Do some more pumps. Okay, we've been walking around for a while. Let's give the backpack another shake. What's in this backpack is Roundup, two to three ounces per gallon, mixed with a water dispersible granule. The water dispersible granules don't readily mix with the Roundup and so they'll settle at the bottom. So occasionally we have to shake the backpack keep those granules mixed up so we don't send the granules out all at once. Always be careful on your plants. Do not get the roundup um, on the leaves of the plants. When doing lawn maintenance, we avoid weed eating anywhere that there's gravel. If you got the weed eater near this gravel and try to trim it up, every single one of these pieces of gravel is gonna become a projectile. It's gonna hit you, 
your coworkers, windows, and anything else you don't want to get hit. Okay, that concludes uh, this section of spraying for driveways. Also something to notice is how we secure the sprayer onto the trailer. Uh, make sure it's firmly seated inside the rack. Okay. Always notice on every sprayer, on every trailer we have, there will always be a tube to put the wand in. And that prevents it from getting broken.